On November 11th, I got a DM from a girl saying she had all three Princess and the Popper dolls and that I could have them, though they needed some restoration. Before I get started, I want to thank Amelia very much for not only sending me Erica, but Dominic and Annalise too. Everything I know about doll restoration comes from other people's videos, so I've linked some of those below to teach you how to restore your doll in detail. I figured that I could restore Erica and Dominic completely, but that Annalise's dress was beyond repair. The first thing I did was wipe down the doll with a disinfectant wipe. Then I very carefully wiped her arms and legs with a damp paper towel. Meanwhile, I threw all the outfits in the wash. I cleaned her face with a q-tip dipped in rubbing alcohol. Then I tried to remove the ink stain on her face with paint thinner and then brush cleaner, but neither of those things worked, so I ordered some benzoyl peroxide off Amazon and put a pin in that part of the project for a few days. I couldn't help myself, so I opened up her back compartment to replace her batteries and had a moment of pure euphoria when Erica started singing. Ooh. You're just like me, it's something any. I wrapped her body like a mummy in cellophane and tape so the upcoming hair washing would not cause damage to her music box. Her hair is very tangled and matted, but I'm not too worried about it because like I said in my other video, the old Mattel dolls have very high quality heat resistant hair that can in fact be restored to new. I believe the material used is called Kanakalon. Um, so I wet the hair, slathered in conditioner, and brushed it out until there were no more knots. Then I rinsed everything out, shampooed the hair, and did the conditioner step one more time to make sure the hair is moisturized, and then washed all of it out. Afterwards, I put hair oil and leave-in conditioner in her hair and hit it with the flat iron. If you're a kid watching this, please do not flat iron your doll's hair. The benzoyl peroxide, aka extra strength acne cream, came and I applied it to both Annalise and Erica's faces. You need to put the doll in direct outside sunlight for this to work. <laughs> After ironing the clean outfits, I got to work on Erica's dress. For her dress, I determined I could not save the center panel, so I cut it out with a seam ripper. Luckily for me, it's made of the same material as Annalise's dress, so I cut a portion out of her sacrificial dress. I used the top layer of tulle on Erica's cutout skirt piece to replace the ruffles on her sleeves. After a few more touch-ups on the dress, like mending the sleeves and restitching the center back of the skirt, it was ready to go. I curled her hair with straws, stuffed the skirt with paper, set her up on a doll stand, and put her on the shelf beside Annalise. They're meant to be together. Dominic, because he doesn't have a music box, was the easiest to fix. His outfit was also in the best shape. Uh, I think I might sell him some new socks. He's now in my sister's collection. Annalise needed a new dress. I'd sewn this wedding dress inspired by the movie for her, using more pieces of the sacrificial dress to embellish it. I finished the edges with fabric glue, sewed the whole thing together, and set bride Annalise up on the doll shelf. I hope this was interesting for you to watch. It took multiple weeks for me to do all of this. The acne cream was a first for me, and it took a while for me to actually bleach the marker off. It was a lot of work, but I'd say it was worth it. Thanks again for the dolls, Amelia.